Thank you, Devin. And coming down with a viral infection can be uncomfortable, but if you have other disorders such as COPD or asthma, it can become life-threatening. Yes, and here to tell us some more about breathing difficulties is Nurse Christina Paris from the VA. Thanks for joining us this morning, as uh, always. Hi, good morning. Glad to be here. Now, it's an exciting time because you brought some <laughs> toys with you as well. Now, and we've been playing with those before, you know, we got on air. But what is meant by shortness of breath and how does it differ, you know, for different people? Absolutely. So, you know, with all the viral infections mm -hmm. um, that we have going around with flu and RSV oh, yeah. and... Uh, there's some myo something viral mm -hmm. infection anyway. It can cause a difficulty breathing mm -hmm. or a lot of sinus congestion and chest congestion. Um, but when it becomes uh, shortness of breath or dyspnea, as we call it, it can be really scary, especially for those who have asthma or COPD or other uh, diabetes, other underlying issues. Um, it can really become serious. So so, um, yeah, you just want to watch uh, for that, especially, you know, for it to turn more emergent, you know, like right. with anaphylaxis. So if you're right. having an allergic reaction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the symptoms that maybe they should look out for? And when should someone contact their healthcare provider? Yeah, absolutely. So, of course, you know, you're going to have some tightness in your chest or feel like you just can't take a deep breath or forced to take a deep breath. You might be working harder, uh, breathing more rapidly. Um, you might just feel like you just can't get enough air. You may have mm. what we call... Um, uh, advantageous breath sounds. So mm -hmm. that's like wheezing, whistling, uh, things like that when you're mm -hmm. breathing in or out. Um, and so depending on whether we hear it when you're breathing out or breathing in can also help us to determine where it's at in the lungs. Mm -hmm. um, and people who have difficulty breathing, they're going to, um, sometimes they have to sit in a different position to help them take mm -hmm. in deep breaths. Um, they might just be blowing out, you know, just they just can't catch their breath. Um, those are really serious. And when you get like that, you do want to go into uh, in the emergency department. So anytime that you think if you're having that breathing and you're having chest pain or you're having that and you're afraid of an allergic reaction, like maybe you know, you're know you allergic to bees, you got stung by a bee, now you're having that closing off right. of your throat so and you're just there. trying, yep, you want to watch for those things. High fever, chills, cough. Um, unusually, like I said, the whistling sounds or the gasping sounds. Mm. Um, and with babies, you want to look for, like in their ribs, if their ribs start to suck in when they're mm. breathing, that can be a sign they're really working hard. If their nose kind of flares, that can be a sign, blue lips, mm. things like that. Now babies will compensate, but then decompensate like really fast. So they'll do really good and then just crash. So you mm. really want to watch that because eventually it will wear them out. And even with adults can wear you out. Absolutely. Well, mm -hmm. no, that is a good thing to certainly be on the lookout for. And is there anything that, you know, we can do to prevent dis... Gosh, what dysmia. is that? <laughs> dysmia. Is what dysmia. it's called, yeah? Yep, absolutely. So, you know, quit smoking if you're a smoker. Obviously, that, mm -hmm. that can affect a lot of things with um, asthma, COPD, gotcha. other disorders. Um, avoid things that can cause breathing difficulties. Um, so if, if you work in a field where you're indoors, you're a painter, or you work as a mechanic, things mm -hmm. like that, you want to try to vent make sure you have good ventilation. Um, take medications as instructed. If you're supposed mm -hmm. to take inhalers for your COPD, COPD, make sure you take them and take them as prescribed mm -hmm. and don't take them more than necessary. That can actually worsen the condition. And there's nothing worse, I'm sure. I, I don't have that, but I can only imagine than being not being able to catch your breath. That's got yeah. to be a scary thing. But by using more inhalers, it's only going to make it worse. Avoid tight fitting clothes. Um, and try um, to exercise gradually, work your way up if you're not mm -hmm. used to exercising because that can cause Right, um, you don't want to just dive induced, right into it. Right. Um, Especially in the new year, you know, right. you got all these New Year's resolutions you yep. want to do, but you got to do it safely. And anxiety. Anxiety right. can yeah. cause it as well. So um, keeping your stress levels down.
Interesting. Yeah. You want to tell us real quick about yeah, this that you brought in that so, um, was very nice to right. you guys and is not that nice to me? So this is just a uh, pulse oximeter. So mm -hmm. it checks your pulse and your blood oxygen rate. Um, and you can pick these up at Walgreens for 40 bucks. Um, they're, they're pretty cheap or Walmart. Um, but it, it helps to just kind of identify. We I got this one personally when we got COVID, just so we could kind of monitor to mm -hmm. see how uh, how bad it was affecting our lungs or if it was affecting our lungs. Hopefully since, yeah, look at that 91 as you guys are, it's mm -hmm. just not on my finger, oh. right? But it's not 91, I guarantee. I yeah, because then you don't want I anything know. below 94. Yeah. Yeah. So well, you, well no, you thank, thankfully, Nurse that. Christina and I, we had some good numbers yeah, on there. Yeah, you want to be Jackie, in the high 90s. <laughs> if I'll be here tomorrow, who knows? Yeah, <laughs> you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Yeah. All right, well, thank you so much for coming in and Absolutely. telling us all about this. Absolutely. Thanks for coming on in. Yeah. And coming up, we have what's